Hello and welcome back. In this video, we're going to take a look at Sparky Linux. Uh, let's reject those. Okay, <laughs> get that out of the way. And Sparky Linux is a GNU slash Linux distribution based on the Debian GNU slash Linux operating system. Sparky is fast, lightweight, and fully customizable operating system which offers several versions for different use cases. And the latest edition is 2023.03. And they have the long term LTS 6.1, Heroic Game Launcher, Sparky 6.6. .6. February, and that's the newest one. Well, that's okay. Alrighty, let's get to her. All links will be down below. This is Sparky Linux. Sparky Linux 7, Orion Belt. Apparently, I missed the uh, 7 on the website. So, we're going to go install her and. When she's done, we'll take a look around. Take it for test drive. Let's click on the installer. Now, hopefully, this comes up pretty quickly. It's in a VM, and I gave it the exact same specs as my stream book, so might be a smidge smaller, smaller, <laughs> smidge slower. Actually, probably a lot slower in the VM. Okay, American English. Click Next. Los Angeles is close enough. English US, default. Erase the disk. This is the Calamari's installer, uh, by the way. Uh, click on Next. Put your name in. Pull your virtual box. Put our unhackable password in. Safe and secure. Okay. Location, Los Angeles. Generic 105 key PC. US default. VBox hard disk. Install Sparky 7. Sparky 32 gigabyte EXT4. MSOS partition table. Dev SDA. VBox hard disk. Create new. 32 to 764 megabyte partition on an S dev SDA VBox hard disk with file system EXT4. Install Sparky Linux on new EXT4 EXT4 system partition. Install bootloader on dev SDA. And away she goes. And when she's done, we'll be right back. Okay, she's done. Click on done. There we go. The VM issue there. Let's get out of this. Reboot it. Got to shut it down. And we'll be right back when we're loaded in. And we're back. Okay. Updates for the system. Yeah, why not? We'll be back in a minute. Or a second for you guys. She's all up to date. Okay. Sparky Linux. I've never tried it. Um, it looks really good. Um, I believe this is the XFCE desktop. Don't quote me on that. One of the unique things that I found out by looking at this thing is their app center. Click on that, put in your password.
Oh, before I get too far, um, the system requirements for Sparky Linux is minimum, well, 32-bit uh, slash 64 compatible. Minimum for 32-bit is 128, 512. Uh, the 128 is for the CLI. 512 is for a uh, minimal desktop environment. 64-bit, one gig for with the installer. So one gig and ish and up for a 64-bit operating system. Now this is the Aptus App Center, and one of the things I like about Sparky Linux, I like to point out, is the ability. To add more desktops right at your fingertips desktop window managers um, you name it all the major ones are here now I'm gonna go ahead and install Draco which is a um, I believe it's open bot I think the open box I'm not sure, but we'll go ahead and click on that and get her installed. Take a look at it, and I like the way like the way it was set up. Now this desktop is the one that you're uh, going to get greeted with, but if you want want to try out different desktops on a lightweight system, Sparky Linux is the one I would recommend for that. Puppy Linux is designed to be small stable and just works on a lower end hardware I'm gonna click exit close out of this click on that log out Oop, right in front of me okay now I'm gonna have to reset the uh, the display again but type in your name this is the light dm login manager put in your password oh it already did it could not grab the following hotkeys move it up falling down okay that, that doesn't matter and you got your little side bar there that i believe is plank And it looks a lot like XFCE. Let's see what we got going into this. Now I took the liberty of installing HTOP and NeoFetch. And HTOP, Swami says, 654 megabytes. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, let's quit out of that. See what NeoFetch has to say. Now I updated it and we are up to Sparky Linux 7 Orion Belt, VirtualBox 1.2, Kernel 6.1.0-6, which is not the latest kernel version, but it's pretty close. I think we're on 6.2. RC, Rust Kernel. Well, for the Rust Kernel series, anyways. For the standard kernel, this is like one or two versions down, I think. It's pretty close. But anyways, uh, packages 2317, Shell Bash 5.2.115. That's my desktop getting in the way. Uh, let's see, Control Plus. Yep. Resolution 1360 by 768. That's just my monitor. Um, I use a TV screen for my main monitor because I'm a, I'm a poor boy. <laughs> Anywho, uh, desktop environment is XFCE 4.118. Window managers XF Window Manager 4. Oh. I thought it was open box. Huh. 
I stand corrected. Window Manager theme, Sparky 7. Theme, Sparky 7, GTK 2, Sparky 6. Icons, T-Latch, GTK 2 slash 3, Terminal XX, XFCE 4, Terminal. Terminal font, minus space 12. And two cores, Intel i5, 2400. I found out my my uh, processor is 6th gen. Or six gen. That's newer than what I thought it was. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, GPU, VMware SVGA2 adapter. I run NVIDIA because that's all I can get at the time when all the GPUs were nowhere to be seen. A buddy of mine was uh, getting rid of his 1050Ti and I jumped on it. Originally, he said about. 60 bucks I was like yeah I'll take it 60 bucks heck yeah one of our mutual friends like come on man 60 bucks right now it's worth at least a hundred like you know what you're right so I handed him a hundred bucks that's when I was still working that is okay let's get on with it sparky Linux 7 Okay, accessories, Anti-Micro X, Application Finder, Bulk Rename, Character Mac, File Manager. I wonder if I grab, grabbed the Game Over version and, and installed it. Still has the XFCE desktop. But this might be set up for, yeah, I grabbed, I installed the Game Over version. Because it's got the play on Linux. Yeah. Wine Tricks. Development. Icon Browser. Inspect GTK Icon Theme. Oh, okay. Games. Ooh, we got games installed in here. Okay, let's see if there's something I can run in the VM. Uh, Chromium BSU might be too much. Extreme Tux Racer, maybe? I can't believe this is running. So that's part of the keyboard. Arrow keys. Enough of that. I can run small games in here, I guess. <laughs> Never tried that before, so I didn't know if that was going to work. And for graphics, Image Magic Color, Image Viewer, Internet, Firefox ESR. I wonder why they have the ESR in there. Hexchat, you can install Steam through here, Mail Reader, Pigeon for Instant Messenger, Rise, uh, Rise Up VPN, uh, Transmission for file sharing, uh, you get. Uh, and then the center web browser. Multimedia cheese for taking photos. Exile. What is Exile? Listen to Explore or manage your audio collection. So it's an audio player. Uh, PN Mixer, Pulse Audio Volume, Radio Station. Uh, this is a Debian based distribution, by the way. Uh, VLC, Vocal Screen, Vocal Screen NG, except Burn if you got a CD or DVD player still. Uh, Office, Trill Document Viewer, Settings, Advanced Appearance, Bluetooth Adapters, Color Palette, Display, File Manager Settings, Firewall Configuration, Light GTK Greeter. 
really good slick reader, uh, mini motor mouse pad on board, open box configuration, panel, customizing panel, power management. So this might be open box. Uh, or at least it uses some of the open box stuff with it. I don't know for sure. I didn't look that far into it. So, what was I going to check out? Appearance. Sparky 7 Dark. Set matching access to WC Sports team if there is one. Close. Check out that. Oh, that's much better. I like that. Um, we went to settings, system, about Sparky Linux, basic information, aptus, GW package manager, G execute, G parted, H top, which I put in, J JS test, GTK, joystick manager, lighting scooter, light USB creator, LXC terminal, plays on Linux, and that was in another category too, QPS, Synaptic pa Package Manager, so you got Synaptic on there as well, that's good. Uh, system Info, click on System Info. Architecture, x86-64, 32-bit 64, 36-bit physical, 48-bit virtual, uh, Little Indian, uh, CPUs 2, CPU family 6 gen, right there. Model number 42. Threads per core 1, so it's, well, I have a quad core 4 threads, and some of the Linux distributions don't utilize all of them. Okay, that's and stepping 7. That's all my information. Memory, and total. Yeah, modules, sensors, disks. All right, let's go to the World Wide Web. Um, I haven't opened this before. History. Restore previous session. Oh, duck, duck, go. Web file op sparky index out of the HTML. So you, I like that built-in search engine inside. <laughs> nice touch, guys. If you ever see this, that way you don't have to. Uh, actually reach out to the internet right off the bat on that now this is a op now this will go to their download page let's go back full ski oh yeah it's a Cool. <laughs> Can't read a word of it. Okay, let's go to YouTube. Yeah, it's a VM. It's running a bit slow. Enough of that. <laughs> 
go. Uh... Try that. Decorate our. That's pretty snappy. For being in a VM. Check out background uh, settings. See what they got for wallpapers. And then we'll wrap her up. Oh, that's. Hmm. Backgrounds, menus, icons. Uh, check out the icons real fast. Browser. Go back to appearance. Got the tea lit to the dark. They don't seem to change. Tango. A contrast. Gnome. And water. Uh, kind of like the tango ones. Yeah, I like the Tango ones better. Okay, that's enough for that. Here's your volume. Our connection. Got two volume controls. That's a glitch. Probably because of the two different desktop environments. Look at the greeter one more time. Okay, I found the welcome. I wanted to get back on that real fast. I just noticed it has time shift installed. That's pretty cool. A lot of distributions don't have uh, backup and restore capabilities. They're all it's the, they're starting to move that way, which is good. It should have been done a long time ago, at least three, four years ago. Okay, let's go to the app center again. See what kind of programs they have. Um, multimedia. Video players, art TV browser, electron player, free tube, free tux TV, ha runner. Um, that is a video player that KDE has. I, run, I use that as my main video player. <clears throat> it fits with my, uh, fits with the, uh, theming there's no problems with it while like other video players don't follow the theming you got Cody hypnotics in player and players one of them MPV parole popcorn time page SM player SM tube sparky player streamo hmm. totem PLC sign console and sign UI Pretty cool. We got two TV the, uh, applications right here. Okay. Oh, that's Sparky Linux 7 Multimedia Edition. Nope. Came over edition. I changed the wallpaper. Anyways, it's a lightweight Linux, Linux distribution. You can put on lower end hardware. And still 
feel like it's brand new. Or as close to new as possible, anyways. Stay safe. Have fun. And I'll check you out later. Or I'll see you later. I won't check you out later. Unless you want me to, but just saying. <laughs>